Hi, this is a little weird problem, and and let let me let me read this problem to you. So, well, we don't have a drawing, but I, let me let me draw it real quick. So we have so this drawing shows a circus clown is gonna be represented by this little box, who weighs eight hundred forty newtons. So eight hundred. Well, yeah. Let me just let me just write it in here. So eight hundred forty newtons. The coefficient of static friction between the clown's feet and the ground. So there's a ground. Let me draw the ground. The ground. I can draw a better straight line than that. So, okay, let me try that again. Okay. Okay, there we go. Is uh, 0.54. And this, so he pulls vertically upward. Vertically downward. So, so he, this guy, this little box pulls the rope downward that passes around three pulleys and is tied on his feet so these are pulleys what is the minimum pulling force that the clown must exert to yank his feet out of the ground himself okay well this is a little complicated well let's let's look at let's look at a let's try drawing a free body diagram for this free body diagram for this okay so we have our we have our clown we have our clown and we have uh, we have our well you're you're pulling you're pulling it this way so well okay well actually if you if you're pulling it you go you're going upward so so it's gonna be like this so this is uh let's let's call this force of pulling so f sub p so f sub p okay and of course we have our we have our um we have our frictional force we have our how do we represent that so we have our frictional pull force and it's going to be f of s and we have our normal force. Oh, well, actually, we have we have our force of gravity. Let's do that first. So gravity, so force of gravity, which is mg. So let me just write this as mg. And we have our normal force. We have our normal force. Normal force. So force of normalness. Okay. All right, so mg isn't um, totally force of normal. So, okay. So what 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 do we what do we have to do here? So, well, we want our fs to equal equal fp, right? So we want our fs to equal fp. Fp. All right. Let, let's try to define fs in another term. Well, fs fs is is micro micro of s times uh, times a uh, force force of the the normal force. Okay. Well, we don't know the normal force, so let's so let, let's just plug it into here and and see what happens. So it's going to be point point five four times the normal force times the normal force times the normal force is equal to fp fp all right okay well what is mg mg is uh we we get our mg as 840 newtons so mg let's write this down so mg is 840 newtons Okay, and how do how do we define define a uh, normal force? Well, normal force is the is is um, the force that the ground exerts on this material. So it's going to be so in in this contest context, force of normal is 840 40 minus the force of p. So the force of pulling. So let's let's substitute that in here. So we get a uh, 0.54 times 
times 840 40 minus force of pulling is equal to the force of pulling. Okay, so we've reduced two variables into one variable. Now we can we can solve for force of pulling. So how do we do that? Well, we can we can certainly use the distributive property. So let's let's do that. So 0.54 times 840 is 453.6 453.6 minus force of pulling is 0.54 so 0.54 out 0.54 uh yeah so just just 0 0.54 0 0.54 force of pulling is equal to force of pulling Okay, and then we add 0.54 to each side, and we get uh, one, one, this is, this is one force of pulling, it's just 1.54 force of force of pulling. So let me just, let me just copy this so that I don't have to. What the wonders of technology. Okay, so 0.54, so what, 1.54, let me just, yeah, maybe, maybe it's easier if I write it again, but but we can do we can certainly do this as well so so um now we can solve for force of pulling so force of pulling is equal to 4 450 the the answer 453.6 divided by uh, 1.54 so we get 294.5 and then 55 five if you want to round it that way so let's in let's type that into our website and see if we get it right. And we get it right. So this is the correct answer. So you you might have different numbers for 840 and 0.54. I should have said that earlier, but um, I think I forgot. So I hope you I hope you noticed that in the middle, and I hope I, I hope I helped you understand this problem better.